Greetings, YouTube. I like Natalie's back at you from right here at the Green Thumb Gardening Channel, right here in the Grow Zone 8B in Tifton, Georgia. And in this morning's video, YouTube, in this morning's video, I'm super excited to be bringing you guys along with me as I show you guys how to force flower a pineapple plant for early fruiting. Hang tight, YouTube. All right, YouTube, here we are on our back porch at our preparation table where we uh, pot most of the um, prop, uh, the uh, cuttings that we uh, propagate in our high tonal greenhouse out there where we plant most of the seeds that we um, grow in um, containers out there in our greenhouse and where we um, prepare the, our harvest and everything from that greenhouse out there, YouTube. But here on this table, YouTube, we currently have one of the five dole pineapple plants that we previously had surrounding our one Del Monte pineapple plant out at Pineapple Place in our first yard garden extended grow area. If you've been following the video series on Pineapple Place, you recall that we currently have that one Del, that one Del Monte pineapple plant out there at Pineapple Place that currently has a huge pineapple uh, on it right now, YouTube, and it's about two years old. And we can't wait uh, any day now we're gonna be harvesting that uh, pineapple plant out, that pineapple from that plant out there. And we, Gonna take you guys out there and show you guys, give you guys a quick peek of that, um, what that pineapple plant currently looks like out there at Pineapple Place, uh, nearing the end of this video, YouTube. At any rate, YouTube, we have this pineapple plant is currently one year old. We currently have about three more in our greenhouse that are around the same age. It's gotten huge, YouTube. I'm gonna give you guys a quick peek at it right here and right now. You guys can see how huge that thing is, YouTube. We currently have it potted in a 2.5 gallon container, as you guys can see. Currently potted in this 2.5 gallon container, YouTube. And again, uh, this morning I'm gonna be showing you guys how to go about force flowering a pineapple plant for early fruiting. Anyone who's grown pineapple plants uh, before know that pineapple plants typically take anywhere between 18 months to 30 months to produce a pineapple. And we're not willing to wait that long, YouTube. There's um several ways of getting your pineapple plant to produce fruit uh, quicker than that. And we're gonna show you guys one of those methods uh, this morning here, YouTube. Again, here's our one year old dole pineapple plant that we recently potted up. Previously planted out at Pineapple Place in our fresh yard garden extended grow area. We currently um, have it and um, had it in um, its four companions in our um, high tonal greenhouse. This was the largest of those four pineapple plants, YouTube, so we decided to use this one to show you guys this quick method of, um, quick and easy, easy method of uh, forced flowering the pineapple plant here, YouTube. As you can see on this table here, beside this pineapple plant, we have a one gallon Ziploc bag here, YouTube. We have a golden apple here, here uh, YouTube, on this saucer, and we have a knife here. What we're simply gonna do is take this apple, Cut it into four or five or six, you know, pretty much equal size um, pieces. And I'll show you guys what that looks like uh, in just a second here. Hang tight. All right, YouTube, we're back. And as you guys can see, we have our seeds separated from our golden apple. We're going to save those seeds and plant those seeds in some um, seed germination trays in our greenhouse, YouTube. And we'll show you the guys the results of that. They actually do germinate for us here, YouTube. But as you can see, guys, we have our apple slashed into pretty uh, much uh, equally sliced um pieces here youtube what we're simply going to do is take these um slices of apple and place them amongst the leaves the upper leaves here now we're pineapple plant youtube a lot of you guys are wondering why in the world would we be putting apple slices among the leaves and in the center of our pineapple plant here and what does an apple have to do with flowering a pineapple plant? As you guys, most of you guys uh, know or should know, um, most fruit, when it, as it uh, begins to decay, it produces a gas called ether. So as these, banana, these um, apple slices begin to break down, they will indeed produce ether. That ether is what's gonna stimulate our pineapple plant to produce a pineapple flower and I'm trying to see if I could squeeze another slice down in there somewhere YouTube maybe a thinner slice here I can get down in between this leaf here yeah we'll stick that one down in there and as you guys can see we have about four or five slices of apple uh, in between our pineapple leaves here on our uh, pineapple plant here YouTube 
The next thing we're going to do, YouTube, is simply take our one gallon plastic bag, open it up, and place it down over these top few leaves here on our pineapple plant. And what that'll do, YouTube, is actually trap that ether gas down around the top, the center, where our, our flower will um, develop at and um, grow from, that center um, down in there. It'll trap that ether gas down around that um, center and stimulate our pineapple plant to actually produce a flower, from which, as you guys all know, the flower is where the pineapple actually comes from, YouTube. So we're gonna take this plastic bag, YouTube, get it placed down over these top um, few pineapple uh, leaves on this pineapple plant as best as we possibly can. And we're gonna bring you guys back in a few minutes and show you guys what that looks like. All right, YouTube, we're back. And this is what our pineapple plant looks like with the apple slices apple slices in place and the plastic bag placed over the apple slices and the top upper uh, leaves on our pineapple plant. Bam. Can you guys see that, YouTube? As you can see, we have not all, but most of the um, apple slices actually inside the bag or in a position where as they decay, the gas, the ether gas from those slices will rise up into this bag and become trapped in this um, upper portion of this bag around the center of our pineapple plant. Um, and, and again, um, that ether gas will indeed um, stimulate our pineapple plant to produce a flower here within the next month or so here, YouTube. Again, this is a one year old pineapple plant. Typically pineapple plants uh, take at least 18 months to two years before they produce a flower some cases up to, even up to uh, 30 months before they produce a flower and uh, Produce a pineapple uh, at any rate this, again. This pineapple plant is approximately one year old YouTube We're gonna bring you guys back in about Three weeks when we actually two to three weeks when we actually remove these apple uh, slices from this plant and place this plant back in its original position in our greenhouse We'll be sitting this plant back inside of our greenhouse and the main reason is to keep uh, pests, you know, fruit flies, etc. from um, being attracted to these um, apple slices as they begin to um, decay you too. So let's take, take this uh, pineapple plant back in our greenhouse, sit it somewhere near the center of our greenhouse on the floor uh, for the next uh, week or two. And we'll bring you guys again an update in the next two to three weeks as we uh, remove those apple slices from this um, pineapple plant and we'll show you the results of what the ether gas does as far as stimulating a pineapple plant to produce a pineapple flower. At any rate, YouTube, thanks for watching this video. And if indeed you currently are watching this video on forced flowering pineapple plants and you're not already subscribed to the Green Thumb Gardening channel, please indeed take this moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video, that like button, that notification button, and be sure, YouTube, be sure, be sure, be sure. To share this forced flowering video with your friends and family as well. Thanks for watching. Our two year old Del Monte pineapple plant and it's pineapple here at Pineapple Place. Doesn't it look fantastic, YouTube? We can't wait to harvest this thing and we can't wait to taste this thing. And we will indeed be bringing you guys along with us for that video. Thanks for watching. But I'm addicted
can love throughout the night. Looking into your eyes and they're telling me it's alright. Slow stroking while we're holding, soaking up the sheets. Let me turn you over, girl, so you can get on top of me. Touching the bottom, I can see the pleasure on your face. Up and down with my hands gripping on your waist. Calling my name, saying, lion, don't you ever stop. I know you feel my ring, you got my body so high. I love the way you always keep your hips in sync with mine. And when we make love, I always feel just like the first time. Every time we're making love. Me if I like it, cause I like it very Every time I taste it's like a peach and a strawberry